Hello, and welcome to Simple. We're going to be talking about Facebook advertising strategies, plus why your ads are not working. Making good music is hard, but marketing your music shouldn't be. It's simple. My name is Anthony. I have a love for music and marketing, and all I'm trying to do is bridge those two things together and make it as easy as possible for you. Today, we're going to be talking about music marketing and what exactly it is, where organic marketing is at, why your ads are not working, and a couple of different strategies that you can actually start to implement right now. So first of all, what is music marketing? I like bringing it down into three simple concepts. The first one is increasing awareness, whether that be social media, ads, handing out flyers at shows, anything that just increases your awareness in the online and the offline world. The second part of it is obtaining familiarity whether that is retargeting the people that already have interacted with your brand, press, touring, becoming one with the scene, uh, just becoming familiar in, again, the online and offline world. Another big component to music marketing specifically is increasing sales and your listenership. And again, that is done through more direct retargeting ads, leveraging Facebook groups, which we will talk about that more as we go on, more touring, and more press. Those are the three basic concepts as to what music marketing is. Now, why do you need to market your music? This is very important because according to HypeBot.com, there are about a thousand songs uploaded to music streaming services such as Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, all that other fun stuff every single hour. What this means is that music is a lot more competitive. You need good marketing to stand out, but then begs the questions, right? How do you start to build an online presence? How do you get people to find your music? Is social media dead? Well, social media is actually the answer to the first two questions. There's actually over 2.82 billion social media users out there. It's projected to actually continue to grow. And no, social media is not dead. You're just not doing it correctly, as harsh as that sounds. This is not really fresh off the press. This actually came out on January 11th, back in 2018. This is from Facebook's newsroom. They released a blog post called Bringing People Together, uh, Bringing People Closer Together. I butchered that, sorry. Um, and Mark Zuckerberg said all of this stuff. And what does that mean? What that means is that Facebook is changing its strategy and so should your project's strategy. What Facebook is focusing on now is connecting with others, creating conversations, and building a community. These are all three very important things in music as well. You want to connect with your fans, you want to create conversations with your fans, and you ultimately want to build a community. Remember when we brought up Facebook groups earlier? Well, it comes as no surprise and why every other band right now has a page and a group. It's because pages reach will continue to decline, but Facebook groups reach will actually continue to increase. And again, this ties back to the whole building a community, bringing people closer together, as stated by Facebook. So no, organic reach and social media are not dead, but that's not what we're here for. Uh, we're here to talk about why your ads are not working. First of all, you're boosting posts. You need to stop doing that. Your project is a business. You need to use Business Manager. For those who don't know, uh, Business Manager is this thing right here. To access it, all you gotta do is go to business.facebook.com. Business Manager allows you to manage ad accounts, pages, and the people who work on them all in one place, as stated by Facebook. But why use Business Manager? For one, it gives you more data. You're able to install something called a Facebook pixel on your project's website, or landing page, you're able to access more audience insights, better analytics. Again, your project is a business, so you need business level insights in order to assess and make better decisions. The second part as to why you need to use Business Manager is that you have better targeting options and you're able to create retargeting ads. So your ad structure will be more organized, you'll be able to implement a funnel. There, there's a ton of other things that you can do. And thirdly, my personal favorite, split testing. You're able to split test different creative, uh, your audience. But again, we'll be making more tutorials, setting the stuff up, explaining what they mean. This is just kind of an overview on it. But essentially, you need to be using Business Manager. Number two, you and your competitors are targeting the same interests. 
Facebook has a bidding system in place. You're actually bidding against everyone else. There's only so much real estate on the news feed, so when everyone is bidding against the same stuff, the prices will continue to skyrocket. That is why, like I mentioned, you need to use Business Manager in order to optimize your ads and test different audiences, test different creative, and a bunch of other stuff that comes into play to make your Facebook ad prices lower. They're only going up, but those who actually know how to properly optimize their ads are going to continue to thrive. Number three, you don't know your audience. You need to find your audience. You can't just guess anymore. You have to split test. That's so important when it comes to marketing your music and with Facebook ads specifically, you need to make data-driven decisions, not assumptions. So again, this all ties back into the first step. You need to start using Business Manager. With Business Manager, you can split test different Facebook audiences or even use Facebook's tool called Audience Insights to look up similar artists that you believe you sound like and see what other interests their fan base has. Number four, you don't have a strategy in place. All right, so I need you to do one thing. After you set up Business Manager, I need you to go into Ads Manager. Now, this is what it looks like when you're creating an ad. It's gonna ask you to select an objective, but you need to stop. Before you jump into creating ads, you need to think about these three overlying objectives that Facebook actually gives you. The first one being awareness, the second one being consideration, the third one being conversion. So your ads need to tell a story and follow along one of these objectives. An awareness ad can just be introducing your project to, I like to call them cold audiences, people have never heard of you, and keep them on Facebook. Video works the best. You can't sell them on something because they don't know who you are. I hate seeing bands that make advertisements saying, check out our song, blah, 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 or hey, follow us on Spotify. Like that doesn't work. That does not tell me who you are. So again, your ads need to tell a story. You need to tell me who you are if I've never heard of you. Now, once they become aware of who you are, they need to consider getting the buy-in from you. So you need to engage in conversation with them, ask them a question, relate to your target audience and show them your human side. There's this barrier that us artists, even when starting out when we don't have a big following, we try to make ourselves seem larger than life. But at the end of the day, people fall in love with the personality. They fall in love with the person behind the music, not necessarily the music itself. There has to be something unique to you. There has to be a unique selling point to your project. And now when we're talking about conversion, I always tread lightly with this. It can mean a couple of things for different people. A conversion could be a merch sale, or it could just be simply having someone add you to their uh, Spotify saves or someone purchasing a ticket or signing up for your email list. But all in all, your ads need to tell a story and follow along one of these objectives. And number five, not all of your listeners are at the same stage of the journey at the same time. This ties back into having a strategy in place. The awareness ads that you're showing to people who have never heard of you won't do any good to people who already know who you are. So you need to make sure that your ads go to the right people, targeting those who are already familiar with your brand, cold audiences, warm audiences, they all need different ads. Your ads need to tell a story. And all of this begins with you installing Facebook Business Manager. What questions do you have about marketing your project? Uh, visit our website for more and thank you for watching this. The next video that I put out, which should be fairly soon, will be talking more about this Business Manager that I continue to talk about so highly. But again, if you're curious and cannot wait for me to upload another video, do your research yourself if you'd like. Uh, but again, I'll go over it pretty soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.